Hey guys and welcome to this video, uh, the top 5 mistakes you are making in your Mobile Legends games, whether it be solo queue or anything, and probably the reason why you are this rank. And if you listen to all 5 of these tips and do them, you will probably get to this rank. Amazing. Right, let's get straight into it while we're watching some pro gameplay in the background. Um, the number five knowing the heroes right so essentially you need to know the heroes um, in order to know matchups and in order to know what's strong against what etc right um, for example look at that fight um, you thought you could 1v1 um, but you couldn't 1v1 that that hero right Correct. so it's essential to know the strength of your heroes and to know the heroes so for example if uh, you Layla in the gold lane up against the Maya um, and the Maya runs at alts and runs at you if you're visible gets you hits you twice and then starts running away you as the Layla should know that you are strong in that moment right she has no alt to get away um, and by using your first spell second spell and alt you can kill that one um, so it's, it's basically all about that um, it's about knowing that as if you're an alpha and um, Nolan comes to you and bursts you with everything that he has and you still half HP you do know that you can kill that Nolan right um, it's also knowing the heroes is, talk, is talking about or thinking about knowing the heroes itemization etc um, because you know for example if a Maya has a uh, crit damage um, you you kind of know how strong your hero is against that hero um, you're not going to 1v1 a Belleric as an Hanabi when you know that they have the vengeance up for example so these are all it's all it all revolves around information to be honest and knowing it is only going to benefit you um, let's move on to the next mistake watching the minimap right so or not watching the minimap rather this is quite important um, because not many people do it and it's probably the thing that you need to do at least every three seconds is pop at the minimap and have a look uh, gather information for yourself um, I'll give you some examples of why this is important I'll revert back to the um, example of Layla and Maya in the gold lane if you are Layla um, and you know there's a Raffaella that's um, on the opposing Roma and you see the Raffaella mid um, you can play pretty aggressive into the Maya, um, knowing that the Roma is not there, right? And vice versa. Um, if you see that, if you look at the minimap and you see five heroes showing on the minimap, mid and top or wherever, you know as the Layla that you should be pushing that lane as hard as possible. Hell uh, yeah. Because there's no way you can die, right? Um, and yeah. Um, on the on the opposite end on the other end um, if you're looking to make a fight somewhere or fight somewhere and you see that all your teammates are scattered far from you it's probably not a good idea to take that fight right you need Correct. to be looking and seeing um, where your teammates are and all of this actually works with the minimap right looking at the minimap um, also another example if everybody's missing on the map you probably think they're taking an object of like lord or turtle um, that would be the um, idea right Correct. So that's why looking at the minimap is probably one of the mistakes or not looking in the minimap is probably one of the biggest mistakes people do um, because it gives you so much information it might save you from being ganked or dying or feeding in lane um, just by looking at the minimap that takes us to number three chasing kills right the bane of everyone's existence and the true test of a man or woman is or are your kills right Correct. Right. wrong what it's not chasing kills often leads to scores like 8 10 which is not good to anyone um, and essentially chasing kills is not what kills although it looks good gives you mvp it's not the reason why you're winning games right Correct. chasing kills yes it is flashy um but kills do not win you games there's very often times where you are 15 kills up and you still lose the game right because what actually wins games are objectives right not kills um which i'll touch on uh, a little bit later in the video 
Um, but yeah, chasing kills, um, chasing a kill and dying is, is it's basically the same as doing nothing, right? As an example. Um, yeah, so, I mean, don't chase kills. Like, if a guy's 1 HP, well, yeah, if you can kill him and get away, I understand, yes. But don't chase the guy halfway through the river because you're looking to try to get a kill. Um, giving his team time to come and kill you and then basically you just one for one and that is never ever good right um which brings me on to number two objectives right not going for objectives is a big mistake so in this game all right the main thing that you need to win the game is objectives or are, are objectives right to take towers you need to take Lord, etc., in order to get, um, well, to win the game. All right? Correct. So, there are so many times where your team kills three of the, of, basically, your team kills three of the, of the enemies, right? There's two available, there's two left, and they are top lane, and your team decides to farm. Isn't that amazing? Right? They decide to go and hit the bush or to farm. The idea is to push and get the objectives. The only way you win the game is with objectives, right? Whether it be turtle, lord, or towers, right? Correct. And by not going for objectives, you you kind of just put yourself in a bad situation. So if you kill five people, you take no objectives, no towers, nothing. You basically kill five enemies for nothing, right? Um, because at the end of the day, objectives win games, not kills. Um, yeah. And I mean, that's all I can really say about it. Objectives, objective, objectives. It doesn't mean push randomly in a lane. Um, this is where kind of everything ties in. All of these five need to be followed at the same time in order for you to ensure victory, right? If you pushing bottom, for example, like a maniac just pushing lanes, and you see on the minimap nobody is there or nobody showing, they are more than likely coming to gang you, right? Correct. So that's why you need to pay attention to all of these things in order to actually, um, you have to win. But um, with objectives um, spoken about, let's move on to the number one most or biggest mistake that is made by most players, right? Which is selecting fights. Oh my God. Too many times um, people just jump in uh, randomly to hopefully get a kill, right? Or they look at the minimap, your teammates look at the minimap and your basically three of your players are on random locations and you jump in. This is from a roaming perspective. You jump in, you initiate, um, get a five-man TIG out and then you pull them all back and you're like, oh, where's my team? Where's my team? No, no. You see, it was your choice to jump in and take that fight, right? So it was your responsibility to look at the map and see, hey, my team aren't close by to me. There's no point in me initiating now and getting this five-man TIG alt because my team are not with me to actually do anything, right? Um, and and vice versa. If you see, if you are the 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 um the gold laner and you see, hey, TIG jumped in, got a five-man alt. It does not obligate you as the gold laner to jump in, right? Because you will feed. The TIG is going to die and you are going to try and follow up and and die basically that's about it maybe you kill one um but against five people you are more than likely going to die so it's very very important in selecting the right fights as an example if you your team takes lord right and lord is called in the in the gold lane at the bottom and all of you guys take a fight that very moment and die and then basically the lord the, the enemy team just runs over to lord and kills lord and it becomes a null and void lord quite quite frankly straight up the better option would be is to just wait until lord starts engaging and then you take the fight or you push in an opposite lane right so this is what i mean selecting fights um if you if you look at the map and you see oh there are three people um pushing top lane there's only one or two at the bottom. We all, our whole five team is here. Let's initiate on this and then let's take that out. Then immediately the odds are against the enemy team, right? So they will fall back. That means we can push lanes and take objectives. 
Um, but so yeah, with all of that said, um, if all five of these steps are followed, um, and I'm sure your brain is like, wow, um, if, all, if all of these five steps are followed or the mistakes are not done, you will definitely rank up. Um, and yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck. And yeah, please let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like me to mention. But for me, these are the top five um, that got me up to Mythic Glory. So um, these are definitely tried and tested. Anyways, guys, thank you very much and have a lovely time. Good luck.